Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it's time for one of my favorite videos each month, the Sheet Load Showcase. I hope you'll stick around, see what my collaborators created in June and find out how you can go get more information. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Every month on the 2nd, I stop by with the process video for my latest set using the new sheet load of cards. Also on the second, each of the members of my collaboration team share a look at the sets they have created for the month. I have collaborators here on YouTube, over on Instagram, and even a couple bloggers. Well, in case you didn't get a chance to go visit all of their sites yet, I like to stop by and show you on my channel a look at each of their sets. And when you're done watching my video, you can find all of the collaboration team links in that description box below so you can go get some more information on your favorites. I know that all of my team members would like you to stop by, see what they created, and leave them some love. Up on screen now is a look at the cards that I made this month. I tried to find them for this video, but I think they might have actually went out in the mail. I do like to send cards to my subscribers who send cards in for the end of the month feature. And now that I have my YouTube channel memberships, I also owe some of them mail each month. And so I am able to get some of those cards out. And it looks like that's what happened this month before I could film this video. If you want to find out how to download the June 2021 sheet load of cards for yourself or see the process video where I made that set of cards, both of those videos will be linked in that description box below as well. Before we start looking at this month's collaboration team cards, I do want to give you a heads up about a new series here on my channel that I debuted yesterday, and that is the Sheet Load Rewind. Starting each month, I'm going to go back to a previous issue of Sheetload of Cards and just revisit it, maybe introduce you to it, and create a new set based upon that sketch and cutting guides. If you haven't yet watched yesterday's video with some more information about how I came up with it, how it got named, and that set of cards I made, I will link that video, guess where, in the description box. But for now, let's go ahead and see what my team of collaborators created in June. First up this month is Scrapbook Girl, aka Lisa, from our Instagram team. I absolutely love these adorable cards she's created, those cute focal points, and bright papers. Mariah's cards, who is at Fuzzy Slippers Designs on Instagram, remind me of a farmer's market. I love those bright, fresh strawberries and lemons. And you might also notice on her cards that her pattern paper strip across the center doesn't go flush with the left and right. She has left a little border there so you can see more of that matting strip in the center. Craftaholic Mama, aka Stacy, created these lovely floral cards. I like how she has moved her sentiment down the card and covered up the opening in the pattern paper strip with some die cut flowers. Even though I do not like mice in real life, I am in love with Benin's fun birthday cards where the little mouse is wearing a party hat and kind of jumping over that sentiment. So adorable. Elizabeth of at Lizzie's Happy Mail created this set of possum cards. Did you get that? I love her papers and how she has that punny sentiment in the middle. So fun. <music> 
Sandy over at her Stamp with Sandy blog showcased these eight gorgeous floral cards. I love the soft colors and how she has added that gold accent on her sentiment strip. Chelsea of the Creative Chelsea channel is kicking off our YouTube projects for the day and I am currently experiencing a heat wave. It jumped from 95 yesterday to 108 today. So these ice creams are making me so hungry. Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts created this set of birthday cards. I am loving those neutral pattern papers and think that they could work for anybody in your life when you need a birthday card. For me, I probably would use these for the guys in my life. Teresa from Fresh and Renewed with Teresa has used some of the pieces from the latest Not Too Shabby kit for her cards. I think those ephemera pieces make great accents and cover up that center strip nicely where the opening is. Amalia from Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia has continued to use that same paper pad. I love seeing how it switches up from month to month. And for her sentiments, she actually used a free printable that I provided earlier in the year. I like that you can keep using that even though it isn't on that single sketch. Debbie of Project 39 Mini Albums has created this meowsome set of cards. I am loving the little focal point kitties and the pink and gray combination. And last but not least is Karen Aiken who created these eight beautiful cards. I love those circle stamped focal points and you might notice on the ones on the left she has stamped her sentiment on vellum so you can see that whole image behind it. I'm sure now you know why this is one of my favorite videos each month. I love to see all of the cards together in one place, see their individual takes on the new sheet load of cards, and just be able to share this with you. If you do enjoy this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. And until my next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.